Okay, I also said I would do this update for a while. In another vlog that I created, I discussed how you can remove moles with iodine solution. And iodine solution is not available over the counter in the States because it has been used in the past to produce meth. <laughs> However, in Canada, we have more faith in our average citizens and know that most people do not own meth labs. So we offer that over the counter. And you can use iodine solution to remove moles. Now, I at the time, I was still removing an old mole from my arm. And I know this is kind of, even though this is HD, it's blasted out. I can't tell. Hold on, let's see if I can turn on the contrast. Okay, so right here, I hope you can see, but basically the skin healed and the iodine solution succeeded ultimately at removing most of the pigment where the mole was. And this, like I said, was an old mole. It wasn't a raised mole when I started to remove it, which proves that you can even use it on stuff like um, age spots or liver spots, as long as you're patient. And in having done it, now I know that the best method with iodine solution is actually to go slow and steady. You don't need to go nuclear with it like as it's been suggested on other um, blogs that you should apply it like four or five times a day to your mole until it falls off. I'm sure, I guess, if it's super raised and uh, you haven't shaved it down with a sterilized um, razor, like uh, not a straight razor, but like a safe safety razor, you know, shaving it down, which is painful, or snipping it with, with uh, clippers that have been sterilized. I cannot, I cannot possibly emphasize that enough. I can see why, if you don't do that, that you might want to, like, blast it because it'll fall off faster. But I've found that it takes longer to heal the more aggressive you go with it. And I've used it now um, in treating a little pockmark I had on my forehead, and it's taken a good six to eight weeks. But just putting it on once a day when I go to bed very gently, it gradually encourages the skin to puff out and fill in. So you can use iodine anywhere where you basically want to give your skin a chemical peel. And I think that it's better to exercise patience and to put a little bit and wait for your skin to heal. Because to have a new layer of your skin's epidermis to grow, I believe, takes six to eight weeks. So don't don't expect overnight perfection. Um, that's unrealistic. If you really want something too, as well, removed immediately, you're better off going to the dermatologist and having them cut it off or freeze it. Although you are at a greater risk, I would believe, of getting uh, a giant scar. So, so far, iodine is amazing. It works to remove moles. Again, if you have a mole that you suspect is cancerous, please don't treat it yourself. Go to a dermatologist. And it doesn't work, from what I can tell this far, on cherry angiomas, which are are cherry angiomas, sorry, which are those little red dots, you know, that you get sometimes as you get older. It doesn't work on vascularized or, or moles that are principally uh, comprised of blood vessels. It, it doesn't do anything to them. It, it just works on regular skin tags and moles. Uh, so that's that. And I, I imagine it would also work on warts. So be patient with it. Don't go crazy. Slow and steady. It works. That's it.